Hi, in this slide I want to talk about where are the boundary lines between different selling service models for customers that it could be in the same industry segment, but they vary in size. So, for example, uh, in, uh, in contractor channels, you can find some monstrous commercial contractors who are very large doing huge projects. And then you can find little moonlight handyman people uh, who do any and everything to sort of, you know, repair stuff around a house or the neighborhood. They're really do-it-yourselfers, if you will, and uh, the different sizes in between. So when it comes to A accounts, we're just going to say that those are accounts that still get covered on by outside salespeople. I mean, generally, maybe they are about 20% of the players that are 80% of the volume. And this still is the, is the, is the fat part for the, the independent distribution kind of company because uh, every one of these customers in theory can have a different um, buy-sell process relationship with us in the sense that we may have one or more items that they're the only one that buys. So just, just by the item mix we have in our warehouse, we're doing something a little bit different for every one of these customers. Um, where they are and how we deliver to them and how often we call on them and how they want to be sold and service and so forth. Lots of little uh, idiosyncratic things that outside sales and inside sales and drivers and frontline people sort of adjust to over time. Uh, but the, the big questions are, one, where is the lower boundary, and later on I'll build a case for why it's $400 roughly a margin dollar per month, or $4,800 a margin per year, and then to realize that the A's, because they flute way out, in other words, if you think, take the single biggest giant out there in the industry, they could be 10 times bigger than the average A account. So it's not a bad idea to to perhaps break this into to you know two three four or more substrata to 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 say you know a triple a or a quadruple a account is going to get uh just more extra services bundled into the price or whatever the service package is i mean it's going to be a custom deal um, the next boundaries to determine were are between it's not an a but uh, will it support some sort of proactive will be in touch with you on some periodic let's build a rapport basis so think tele telemarketing if you will outbound telemarketing and i put down here maintenance because i'm assuming that most of the viewers out there uh, have traditionally gone to and still have a huge commitment to outside sales selling so when we hive off B and C accounts that out, are normally assigned outside salespeople, it, we're creating a new business. And, and this is a secondary business, and our form and fit and structure is geared towards A accounts. And so we may be a little bit compromised here, as opposed to we find that from the bottom up, there are other kinds of alternative channels that have popped up. If we look at how Home Depot and Fastenal have gone after uh, small emergency convenience store purchases for all kinds of contractor pros, or go on the net and find out that it's very easy to buy any kind of industrial item you want if you enter your own order and put in a credit card uh, and it's freight friendly stuff. In other words, you go UPS or FedEx, I suppose it's, you know, lumber and it doesn't go very far because the freight so freight sensitive um, you'll find that those alternative channels are already doing a very aggressive job in this area and I would say as a general rule that any one distributor can clearly be strong in one strata and maybe a second one but that's it to try to be good in all four strata it's like trying to be a marathoner and a shot putter and a sprinter they just they're, they're different uh, form fit uh, tuning issues that are mutually exclusive. So uh, now I've seen some customers, uh, some distributors, where this one guy was a, a traditional tobacco and candy kind of distributor, and he had a zillion small orders, and he was in an old warehouse right downtown and in Miami. And um, and I've read another guy in L.A. where there's just all kinds of uh, neighbor, different neighborhoods that speak different languages, and, and they basically converted their business into a cash and carry uh, help yourself wholesale kind of place uh, to go after that business and pretty much you know got out of trying to take care of this business up here because they just weren't able to do it their whole business was small orders and small customers so they converted to a way to take care of them so those are the questions where are the boundaries between the strata in the a strata you have to have actually 
you know, three or four substrata w within there. Um, and you, you've really got to pick two. Uh, any more than that, you're going to find yourself being uh, compromised. Thank you.